sunshine. I listened, I said, oh, sky blue. Oh, I'll look up at that. Okay, so I am showing that I'm listening because I'm reflecting his words and also his attention and his position. Thank you, Anjali. So that is what reflect means. You have to reflect those around you. If your senior is a very formal person, you're not gonna be going up to him and saying, hey man, yeah, really good to see you. But if your senior is a very casual person, you, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir, you, you'll do that, you'll make him feel or her feel uncomfortable. So you have to reflect those that are around you. Particularly when you are going in for the first time into the corporate world. You see what is there, and you become that. You maintain yourself, but you reflect those around you. So reflect ideas, reflect your position. Let's move to the next one. And this last one is narrate. Narrate is something that you use more and more as you mature and go through this training or and be, actually do public speaking or do a presentation. Narrate means explain. Description. I like that one, description. So, narrate in describing, you would use really to talk about your actions. There's one case where you might use this. Yesterday I asked people, how many had heard of something called a conference call? Anybody? One, two, three, four. Six, seven. You're counting for me, thank you. Um, so who is it back here who'd heard of a conference call? Okay, young men with the mosh, tell me. What is a conference call? A conference call is a call in which uh, many people uh, call, uh, talk together with the help of telephone. Yeah, perfect. Excellent. Better definition than I could give myself. Very impressed. What's your name? Sanket Mishra. Sanket Mishra. Okay. Ten marks to Sanket for being able to explain clearly in wonderful language. Thank you. Thank you. It's a telephone call which many people talk at once using the phone. How many people have visited a chat room online? Don't lie, everybody raise your hands, come on. I know you've visited. So, what is that? Several people talking at once by a computer. Same thing, right? Can you all be typing at the same time as everybody else? No, you have to read the response, and then you have to respond, you have to write, somebody else takes a turn. Same, same, on a conference call. You might be talking about the document that's due on Monday. Correct? We have a document due tomorrow, 3 p.m., for our client meeting? Yeah? Okay. So, but I might have a distributor who is in Amritsar, and a manufacturer who is in Bhubaneswar, and we are sitting here in Varanasi. Do I fly them all down to me in Varanasi to talk to me? Extremely costly, no? Very costly, So what do we do? Conference call. We do a conference call. But while I'm on the conference call, and my man in Bhubaneswar is asking me, oh, what does the document say? I'm not, I'm not sitting there going, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, okay. I'm telling him what I'm doing. Oh, sir, I'm just pulling it up on the computer. Let me take one minute to get the file. Now, you know, I actually have to open it. I have to get a pencil, one moment. I'm narrating, I'm describing my actions so the other people who are also on the call can hear what I'm doing. And we are have engaging, sending the message back and forth, having interaction, clear. Yeah, this is what it means. All of these are interaction. So learn means interaction. Learn means using all of these things, reflecting, the other person's position. Listening well, listening with your whole body and your mind, right? Empathizing, understanding the position of the other. Assembling, putting together all of your knowledge. If you take nothing else away today from my talk to you, take this. Know that you have to apply all of these. If you learn these, you will be a fantastic communicator in any and every environment. Fantastic. So how can you learn these? How can you really learn these well? 
We watched a movie at the beginning today that told you. By practicing all. Practice every day. Practice hard every day, correct. Practice hard every day. Have you practiced this? Communication. So do you have to go out to a corporate office and try talking? You don't have to. Can you talk with your friend? What's your name? Abhishek. Okay. Okay. So can you talk with Abhishek? Do you want to talk about Karina, Katrina, Deepika, or Priyanka? Any one of them will do all four. Then you have quadruple practice. Okay. You're telling, you're showing, listening. He thinks that Katrina is better than Priyanka. Hmm. Well, you can practice like this, but you have to practice listening. Hmm. Okay, you have to practice putting together. Without the practice, you won't learn. That was part one. We have two more parts. You can furiously write down and copy everything. That's fine. But it, you don't need to. It will be given to you. Um, I think that in your education system, you spend vast amounts of time copying, copying, copying. I mean, mug up everything and try for the exam and copy again. And then later, do you remember that? No, ma'am. What problem? Hey, it's a big problem. So, do you think today that I want you to copy and mug up for the exam that is not going to happen? No. No copying and mug up. I want you to sit and use your body and your eyes to learn. Okay? Don't put the book away. I might ask you to, want to write down something. And then you'll be like, oh, I'm ready to go. I'm just going to take out. No. But don't copy everything. What's the point, yeah? What's the point? I'm not going to give you an exam where you have to copy everything. I want you to take it in and learn it. So we'll start for a minute. I want everybody to stand up.